This is Charles Kale with Travel Mall TV with Mel Yap, Regional Director for Silver Seas in uh, based in Singapore. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Charles. Traveling all over the place on a Silver Seas yep. ship. Uh, you just got back from Japan? Just got back from Japan. Had a short cruise from Tokyo to Osaka. And now tomorrow you... Going to Shanghai. Shanghai. Tell me a little bit about this market this Asia-Pacific market for silver, silver Seas cruises? Um, we, we started, I started with Silver Seas 11 years ago. Um, back then it was very difficult to sell a cruise holiday. Um, back then it was, we were telling people what a cruise experience was. Um, not many people enjoy cruises back then, but because thanks to uh, Star Cruises, they've introduced this concept of cruising to Asians. So it's much easier to sell a cruise product nowadays. Mm, mm. The, they prefer which itinerary? A, the Asian market? The Asians, um, it's split into many countries. Say for example, the Japanese, they prefer Mediterranean. The Chinese, they prefer the polar regions, the Arctic and Antarctica. Oh. Southeast Asians, they prefer Mediterranean. Yeah. So different countries, they prefer different. For the luxury segment, indeed, we are the first one because um, a lot of cruise lines didn't want to invest in Asia back then, it was very small. So Silver Seas was the first company to set up an office in Singapore to cater to the affluent growing market here. So 11 years ago, Asian uh, share of the market was close to zero. Yeah. And One. today? I'm 15. Oh, quite, quite sizable. Yeah, quite sizable. Moving forward, what do you so what, you, what kind of growth do you see? We've got very high, a uh, company's got very high expectations um, in, for Asia, especially, especially China. Um, I believe we can move up to 20 maybe. 20%. 20%. Now you do um, charters, private yes. charters. Is that is that a big business? Um, we do charters mainly in uh, China um, because the Chinese, they like um, exclusive. So when they charter the entire ship, it's exclusive to them. This would be a company or um, or a travel comp agency? It's mainly companies. Or in fact, I would say chamber of commerces. Yeah, like businessmen, they get together. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's more like a networking thing for the Chinese. They would charter for how many days? For Antarctica, you always you will usually be about 10 days. But in Europe, it's much shorter, about five, six, seven days. Oh, wow, 10 days. Yeah, 10 that's days a long time. It's just nice for a cruise holiday. Yeah. Uh -huh. Seven's too short. And and your your chefs are able to adapt to any, uh, uh, you know, culinary needs of your so clients. So far, yes, we have been able to to meet expectations. Um, I would not say you know we produce like excellent Chinese food because you know in Chinese cooking you need your wok and you need fire and everything we can't have open fire on board a ship mm. so um, the taste would not be at like 100% Chinese but we try our best we always say we try our best I mean French not a problem but uh -huh. um, but Asian food is a bit tough Asian food. Uh, talk a little bit about recent uh, developments uh, with Silver Seas this last year and and plans for next year um, very exciting, we're going to start a new um, cruise line. Um, we're going to cruise around the Gal Galapagos. Um, we acquired this ship, um, I, th I believe we would start selling it by November. Is that a, a unique product, meaning are other luxury ships uh, uh, positioned for sailing around the Galapagos? With, there's some other cruise lines going around Galapagos, but not in the luxury market. Yeah, a lot of luxury cruise ships because it's out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know, it's off. It's those little islands off Ecuador, so you need to really be on the way from somewhere somewhere before going to Galapagos. But for us, we're going to base the ship just cruising around Galapagos year round. Globally, which one of the itineraries uh, have been most popular? What's been the trend lately? Silver Seas we're an Italian cruise line, so naturally our playground is in the Mediterranean. Um, the ports of Barcelona, Venice, Rome, Monte Carlo, Istanbul, these are quite popular with the Asian clients. Mm, mm. Shopping. Mm. Exciting things coming out in 2014 though, but... What's that? I can't tell you at the moment. Oh, come exciting, on Mel. Very exciting. Okay, yeah. we'll have to keep, a, yeah. keep, keep our ears open. Very exciting things. Going places that 
a lot of cruise lines cannot go. Mm. Mel Yap, Regional Director Asia for Silver Seas Cruises. Thank you so much. Thank you, Charles.